just explain it to us. I mean, aren't these costs related to similar amounts that we would ordinarily pay even if we went physically to a department or uh, a service point? No, not at all. If you go to the offices and have your vehicle uh, ownership changed, it's about 150 rand for the administration fee. If you want to do it online, it's 530 rand. And as I said uh, earlier, Bongani, if, uh, imagine the banking world telling you, look, come in and transact in the bank, please. If you want to do it online, we're going to charge you massive fees. It just doesn't work like that because, uh, you know, all these offices are going to, over time, require less staff, less manning, less electricity, less counters. Uh, and that's the way you want to go. You want to be, get people to use digital. But, but to do so at massive cost, this is uh, what we regard. And we see this with the RTMC, the Road Traffic Management Corporation, the Road Traffic Infringement Agency, the Driver's License Card Account. Every one of these uh, organizations within government are making massive profits. They're turning themselves into profit centers. And this is where the breeding grounds of corruption and maladministration takes place. Are you basically looking at all of this as yet another money-making scheme another way to raise revenue yes that's exactly what it is and what happens is and these were these were services that were provided as part of your taxes uh, in the past uh, and um, and were funded by Treasury rightfully so so now what happens is they take themselves off the need to rely on Treasury there's less oversight and this is where the uh, money making takes place as we saw last year or the year before Jeff Chu the CEO of the RTMC had a salary which was very high, 3.3 million rand. He increased it to 10.8 million rand in one year. They pay themselves massive bonuses and they start inventing ways on how to spend this money by renting uh, buses that are to introduce mobile uh, uh, license centers and that were good ideas as well. But, but millions and millions of rands goes into these very clever schemes and we have to watch this very closely. Current events, developing stories, Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.